Hi, I'm Matthew, and this is how I turn my voluntary singularity artwork into a piece of physical graffiti. The first step was to cut out the stencils out of cardboard. I started with the background, which would be sprayed in black. I originally designed the piece to be a 10 by 8 inch canvas, but I found this very fiddly when cutting out the stencils. And even though I was managing to carve the details of the black hole and the lettering quite well, this happened. So I quadrupled the size and I decided to spray the lettering with the final coat instead of the first, meaning I didn't have to carve the letters in the black hole. Oh yeah, I plan to use five coats, a background, a red, yellow and blue layer for the people, and a final black layer adding the detail onto people's faces and the lettering. However, the carving process was so difficult I knew it would be impossible to create fine lines for detail, so I just did the lettering on the final layer and planned to draw the detail later with Sharpie. Here's me test spraying the background coat, which turned out okay but I didn't like the fuzziness of the border so I needed a better method of holding down the stencil than just tape. I also needed to protect the edges of the canvas from being sprayed, as it left an ugly border behind. Having proved the idea possible, I then carved out the three colour layers. I used a shortcut where I could cut out any yellow or blue from my red layer, or any yellow from my blue layer, as the painting would be done in the order red, blue, yellow, so any incorrect colour would be then sprayed over. This saved a little time, but this still took me three hours and gave me about three days of back pain. I sprayed the layers one by one onto plain A4 paper, leaving half an hour to dry between layers. I made sure that the stencils were larger than the canvas to prevent runoff at the edge, and I simply used my hands to press the stencils down so that I could ensure that they were pressed wherever I was spraying. The surface wasn't a great choice as it absorbed the paint and spread it out, getting rid of my bold colour blocks and replacing them with a technicolour paste in the bottom right of the image, but hopefully I could save this in the detailing phase. I was also disappointed with my light pink paint coming out of a very dull shade, but it was cheap paint and you get what you pay for. I finally added the details to the character with a sharpie, using two different thicknesses to ensure that the strokes were varied in width. This really brought the piece alive and gave the sense of perspective I was aiming for, resulting in this final product. I'm disappointed in the colour blending and the lack of vibrance, but the effect works and I could produce a much better artwork on a better surface with higher quality paint. So the true purpose of the art is to make the stencils, which hold the key to making the piece, as I could respray a much better rendition with more time and more money.